Today, I'm gonna to be trying out the Crimpit Toasty Maker and Sandwich Sealer. That's really it's designed for some of the sandwich thins. And I think more specifically for the square ones, which I had a lot of trouble trying to find square ones locally. So I ended up just getting the round ones. And there's a lot of videos on TikTok showing the Crimpit making all kinds of things from regular sandwich type things to even sweets. So I did want to try one out. As far as I could tell, these are not available from any seller in the United States. I actually had to purchase this from Amazon UK. All right, we got some instructions and in a card where you can download more recipes. There's really not much to it, just a base unit and a top. And the crimp, it looks like it may work a little better than some of the other sandwich cutters that I've not only seen but used, is that when you put your bread in here and you push down, it seals it more towards the middle. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I've actually tried several other sandwich cutters. Uh, this one was in a video that I made a couple years ago on some kitchen gadgets. And it, it worked okay. I've also tried this one, which I was not really happy with, and even a Pampered Chef one. And the thing that all these have in common is when you're sealing your sandwich, it basically pushes the top bread down and seals it at the base of the bottom piece of bread. So it's stretching that top piece of bread. And a lot of times that top piece of bread will break and crack. So that was the downfall that I found in all these. The instructions say that you can toast, grill, fry, or air fry your snack. I'll probably try most of these out in the toaster. The first sandwich I'm gonna try is a simple turkey and smoked provolone sandwich. Now the instructions do say to place your bottom piece of bread or your thin in here first, but these are obviously not gonna fit in there like they're supposed to. So let me just try to center this on here. And next I'll try to crimp it. Just push that down all the way around. Let's see if that sealed it pretty well. Okay, came out pretty good. A little bit of extra bread right here on the outside of the crimps. And now, see, here's what I was talking about. There's some turkey and some cheese right here that caused it to really not seal properly on that side. The other sides really look good. So the next one I try, I'm just gonna have to do a little better job of keeping the meat, cheese, or whatever I'm using on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I trimmed up my piece of cheese a little bit smaller, and I still think I can fit two pieces of turkey on here, especially with this turkey, because it's pretty thin. All right, let's try that. I think I've got the meat and the cheese fairly centered. Push that down and just seal it around the edges. And I'm going several times, but you might not even have to go that much. I just want to be sure and try to get a good crimp. All right. So even with the bigger round sandwich thins, it pretty easily just trims off the edges that hang on the outside. Okay, now when I actually did it the proper way, it got an excellent crimp all the way around. Next, I'll put it in the toaster and we'll see what it looks like. All right, it's kind of heavy, so I guess it needs a little help. Here's a look at it. it, smells really good. And I had the setting on the toaster almost all the way up and it got nice and toasty, but not burn or anything like that. All 
Oh wow. It looks really good. The cheese even got melted. And yeah, I think it worked pretty good. This time I'll try making a little mini pizza. So I'll put a little pizza sauce on one of the thins. I'll add a few pepperoni and definitely try to keep them away from the edges and a little cheese. All right. Try to center this again. And I'll put the top on. All right, let's see how this one came out. Yep, all the edges got sealed perfectly fine and trimmed off the extra part of the thin. So let's pop this one in the toaster and check it out. All right, let's cut into the little pizza toasty. The bread got nice and toasty and it didn't quite melt the cheese all the way, but it did melt it to some degree. So I'm pretty satisfied with how the Krimpus worked using the sandwich thins, which it's designed for. Even though I'm actually using the round ones, it doesn't really seem to be an issue. It just trims off the little bit of extra bread that's on the edges. So now let's see if it'll work with regular white sandwich bread. And this bread is also not as dense as the thins are, so it's a little bit less forgiving in that it can rip or tear easier. So just like on the thins, I'll use a trimmed up piece of cheese and two pieces of turkey. Put that on top. And all right, it's still centered, so let me get this on as straight as possible. It's a little bit more difficult to get the white bread straight because the crimpet is square, but the sandwich bread is more rectangle. And I'm hoping that the crust is not going to interfere with the ceiling. All right, let's see how that did. Oh wow, it actually did better than I was expecting it to do. Let me pull off some of this extra crust. The only issue I see is where the crust got pushed together it didn't seal like the rest of the sandwich did. The parts of the bread that was kind of hanging over the base of the crimpet did great. But on the shorter sides with the crust, they didn't quite seal in as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in and I'm just going to try to crimp it again and see if that'll make any difference. All right, let's have a look at that. And eh, it actually did a little better. There still is a little spot right here where the crust on both sides of the bread didn't quite crimp down. But even at this point, I find it still works better than the other sandwich cutters that I tried. But I'm gonna go ahead and toast this since I've already got it made. And I'll just leave the part that didn't quite crimp all the way at the top. And for the white bread, I've got my toaster turned down a little bit more. All right, let's check that one out. And 
the places that it was crimped properly did just fine. So I can't really hold that against the crimp it since this is not really the kind of bread it was designed for. But while this was toasting, I had an idea. It seems to me that the only reason it's not really working well with the white sandwich bread is because of the crusts. So I guess there would be two solutions. One would be to use bread that's bigger than the bread that I have, or two, maybe cut the crust off, but that kind of presents another problem in that I'm not sure that these are gonna crimp because the bread without the crust doesn't go all the way to the edges. So I'm just gonna take this crustless bread and I'm just gonna kind of smoosh it down a little bit and try to just make it a little bit bigger. And let's see if that would fit in there a little bit better. Still not really perfect, but I'm gonna give it a shot since I'm already doing this. Let me sit this down right here. And I think this piece of bread is a little bit bigger than the other one, but it seems to fit pretty well into the base. So let me try this one more time with a slightly more aesthetically pleasing slice of cheese and a couple more pieces of turkey. Put that on top. And let me try to crimp it. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh wow, much, much better. So yeah, the crust is the problem. And this is definitely more work to cut the crust off, try to flatten out the bread to make it work. But again, the crimp it is not really designed for this. But I think the easiest solution would be to get bread that's a little bit bigger than the bread that I'm using because those crimps look really good. One more thing that I want to try in the crimp it is using flour tortillas. I've got a little bit of canned chicken. So I'm going to put that here in the middle of one of these tortillas. Try not to get it too, too thick or put too much in there. Next, I'll sprinkle on some taco seasoning and a little cheese. All right, I'll put my top tortilla on. And since everything's in the middle, I hope it stays in the middle, just try to center that over the base of the crimp it. And push down. All right, let's see if that sealed it. Yeah, I think it actually did a very, very good job. The extra tortilla comes off pretty easy. I actually pulled it apart a little bit right here when I was pulling the extra off. So let me put it back in one more time. Okay, that sealed it right back up. A quick recrimp, and it took care of the problem. You will have some waste if you're using tortillas with this. Of course, for me, it's not really waste because my dogs will appreciate that. But man, it worked really, really well with the flour tortillas. So let me toast that one. Turn this up a little bit. Put into that. Oh, that thing's hot. Here's a look at the fillings. So the crimpet has worked really well, significantly better than the other sandwich cutters that I've tried. And I know they don't call this a sandwich cutter, they call it a toasty maker, but it kind of does the same thing. The main thing to remember is to not put too much filling in whatever you're making. It worked great on the thins as it was designed to do. It actually worked really good on the white bread. You just have to either trim the bread or use bigger pieces. And I think it worked phenomenal on the flour tortillas. So it's really versatile. And there are all kinds of things that I saw other people making with this. Things like 
beans and sausages and sweets and all kind of stuff. So it's a pretty cool little gadget. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.